So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a completely free drop shipping course on how you can start a successful drop shipping business with around about $50 to $100 using the TikTok organic viral method that can help you generate between $10,000 in profit all the way up to $100,000 in profit. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I've documented on this YouTube channel, me achieving over seven figures in revenue, generating over a billion views in TikTok organic viral content. And because of the TikTok organic method being so lucrative, I've decided to make a free course for all of you guys going over all the important stages of going viral. So if you've got a low budget to start drop shipping, then you're in the perfect place to learn the strategies to go viral with a low budget. Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Camille Satin known as the Ecom King. And in today's video, you're in for a massive treat because I'm going to be teaching you how to find the latest viral trends on TikTok because the truth is it's the trend that's more important than the product. The product is just what makes you money. The trend is what gets people to your website to basically purchase the product. So if you're not using a viral trend on TikTok, then your product will not make money. So I'm going to be teaching you all the latest new methods that are completely free onto finding the latest viral trends. Then I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create your TikTok accounts so you can target USA traffic using the SIM tricks. So I'm going to be going over all of that. And then I'm going to also be going over how to manage the account and how to set it up. And then I'm going to be showing you guys how to write scripts for your videos. So you create viral videos because scripts are very important because it's all about the different styles of videos that you're incorporating into your account. Then I'm even going to be teaching you guys how to record your TikTok videos. So I'm going to get my business partner, Nick, into this video to show you guys and demonstrate how to record viral videos because he is a genius at creating content. So I'm getting the best quality people on this video to teach you how to do that. Then we're even going to be showing you guys how to edit the footage in CapCut for completely free to get that viral style video edit in so you can upload it to your account. Then to finish off the free course, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload the content to your TikTok account so you go viral successfully and you know when to move on to the next product and you know how to scale a winning TikTok viral product. So if you appreciate all this crazy valuable content that's completely free, it's a free course when there's people out there charging thousands of dollars for this information and they don't even know this information because there's not many people out there that have documented their journey of achieving over a billion views on TikTok and achieving over seven figures like I have. So because of that, if you appreciate the content, let me know in the comment section and destroy that like button. Now to make things even better, I'm gonna be doing two massive things for you guys. I'm going to be doing one massive giveaway. So as soon as we hit 5,000 likes, it will activate the giveaway. And the giveaway is I'm going to be giving away a TikTok account that's already seen success with organic traffic. So if you want to win that TikTok account, we need to hit 5,000 likes, you need to leave a comment. And once we hit 5,000 likes, I'll be choosing the best comment and I'll reply to it and I'll shout out on Instagram so you can redeem your account. Now also, because I'm creating a free Google Doc sheet to go along with the free course that's gonna contain all the step-by-step -step information and all the relevant links, we need to hit 2,000 likes so you can get access to it because it will help you. And I'll leave it in the pinned comment and in the description below once we hit 2,000 likes. So with all that being said, guys, let's get straight into this free course. I'm so excited to show it you and I hope it helps you all see some massive success and you're able to change your life with it. So guys, the first part of this free course is gonna cover the costs involved, the tools that you need, the software that you need to get this strategy in place so you're gonna get off to the best start possible. So as you guys can see on the screen, I'm inside of that free Google Doc sheet that I promise that you'll receive once we hit 2,000 likes and it'll be in the pinned comment and in the description below. So the costs involved with going viral on TikTok organic the right way so you can really see real success is you need to have a Shopify account. Now the good news is Shopify is doing a deal using my exclusive link where you're gonna get three months for $3. So that means that you're going to be using Shopify for three months and it's only going to cost you $3 instead of $90 to $100. Now, as you use my exclusive Shopify link, you're going to get my free theme. Now I've partnered up with a company to design a free theme that is designed to help you build Shopify stores really fast because it's an upload, copy and paste template, which is really easy to do. I'm not going to cover it in this video because I've made a whole one hour video going over it. So I'll leave that in the cheat sheet and in the description below. So make 
sure you use my link and get the free theme so it makes your life very easy to test products really well on TikTok Organic. Then the domain name is going to be free. Normally it costs you $14.99, but I've partnered with a company called Hostinger that give away free domain names. So make sure you check this out. And again, I'll cover this in this video where I go over the free theme. I'm not going to be talking about it now. So make sure you watch that video about creating a store using my free theme because I go over all of this in that video. Now, the next thing that you're going to need is a USA SIM card, which is going to cost between $10 and $30. And I'll be showing you exactly where you can get these from. And the reason why you need a USA SIM card is because that will activate a US number. So when you sign up to a TikTok account, it will ask for a phone number. You're going to activate it with a USA number. And because it knows that you've got a USA SIM card in, it will help you get American traffic. Then you need to pay for the product that you find that you want to test on organic traffic through drop shipping. And this can cost between $5 and $30. It shouldn't cost any more than $30. Remember, so once you find that winning product or the product that you think is going to do really well on TikTok organic, you need to order it from Amazon to your house so you can create content. And like I said, it shouldn't cost more than $30. So then you're going to need some video editing software. So once you've recorded your product through your iPhone or your Android phone, you're going to then need to edit it to make it look really nice. Now we use a software where called CapCut and it is completely free and I'd recommend the desktop version and the mobile version but I'll be going over that a little bit later on. Then that should cost you in total no more than 30 to $50. Again, this is a free course teaching you how you can start a successful dropshipping business with around about $50 to $100 and I've just given you guys all the numbers there so you can see it's between $30 and $50 so we're sticking between that low budget that I promised at the start of the video. So guys, that moves us on to the first section of this free course which is how to to find winning viral organic products that are multi-purpose platform. So what that basically means is we're going to be finding a viral product that can be used for TikTok, but it can also be used for Instagram because Instagram Reels and TikTok are both very effective for organic traffic and also YouTube Shorts. Now I'm only going to be covering TikTok Organic in this video as it is the most important out of the three, but the other two are very important and it's important that you choose a product that could be used for all three platforms because that will help you scale later on when you will see mass success. Now, this is by far the most important part of this free course because when it comes to finding a winning organic traffic viral product, it's all based on the trend and what's going on around that trend. So like I said to you guys in the intro of this video, if you don't choose a product based on the latest trend, then your product will not do well. The trend will determine if your product will go viral. So this is by far the most important part of this free course. So you need to be paying full attention. So step one to this is you need to be looking for an upcoming event or new trends using these websites. So you can see in the free cheat sheet, I've given you a list of websites that you can use to find out the latest trends and the upcoming events. Now, I want to make this very clear before I go through those websites. You need to combine all of these websites together to give you a conclusive answer. Not one of the websites I've given you is going to give you a concrete answer. And this can take a lot of time, guys. It can take you a day or two to come up with a solid product idea based on the latest trends. So don't rush this section. So as you guys can see here, I'm on one of the websites that I've listed in the cheat sheet and this goes over the top TikTok trends to try this week and you can see here if you look at the content and the introduction it shows you the latest trends all month so you can see TikTok trends for June 2023 as it's now the start of July, they're now giving you the latest trends in the last following month. So if we go through this, it's going to give you, for example, video examples, what made them go trending, the sounds being used, the type of video being used, and an example of it in a live video. So if we break down the first one, you can see here, trend, Yasmin Hero transition. So what they're saying is the trend is the transition. So this transition is what was making this video go trending and going viral. Then the next video example is the trend is smooth operator now for those that don't know music smooth operator is a very very famous song one of my wife's favorite songs and you can see here this is the song and it's being remixed and changed in these videos to go viral so the audio is original sound Enzo. Now what you can do is you can actually open this up and when you open it up, it's going to show you all of the videos that have gone viral. You can see 50 million views, 63 million views using this sound. And again, it's using that smooth operator song, but just in a little bit of a remix. And you can see there's loads of different videos using this soundtrack and it's going viral. So this is something that we want to take into consideration because if this sound is still going viral, we need to find a product that could be used for this kind of music. It could be a fashion related product because if we look at the sounds, you can see 
see a lot of people are wearing fashion products like she's wearing cargo pants with some trousers she's wearing a dress so we might want to try and choose a product maybe in the fashion business or the fashion related because this is a trending sound and it's a music and music and fashion are correlated so that's something that i might want to take into consideration so what you guys want to do is you want to scroll through all of this and you want to look at what's made it trend again it's now telling you that it's this song that's being remixed as a catchy remix that's made it go viral so you want to go through all of these and you might want to even go through the past previous months as well because previous trends can retrend again so it's worth taking it into consideration and it will help educate you guys on what really makes tiktok viral videos based on trends normally it's sound effects music and sometimes transitions now there's another website that i've linked in the cheat sheet and it's this one here and it says tiktok trending sounds right now updated july 2023 so this has been updated about three days ago and if we scroll down you guys are going to see that it's given me some ideas so added july the first when will we break up trends so there's a trend basically talking about when we'll break up so you might want to drop ship some jewelry products where it stops you from breaking up it's like a love necklace so these are things that we're going to take into consideration and again it's going to give you a link to an example of this there's another one saying behind every every hot girl trend so these are all telling you the trends this is such valuable information because we can use this and incorporate this in one of the dropshipping products that we can find from our dropshipping supplier and not just that it's going to help us when it comes to creating content because the content we're going to create is going to be around all of these things now something else that you want to take into consideration is the upcoming holiday seasons or events so this website here shows you all the upcoming events and holidays in the united states so you can see here all the upcoming ones in july to august now some of these are small some of these are big events now i would highly recommend that you focus on some of the bigger events not the smaller ones because they will do well so if you follow on some of these events there's going to be natural momentum of these on tiktok so you can ride the natural wave of momentum so it's worth taking this information into consideration as well now this moves me on to one of the most powerful websites that you can use to find winning products on tiktok now it's actually tiktok's website themselves but it's their creative center so now tiktok's got a creative center called top products so this shows you the top selling products the top products that people are spending money on on the tiktok platform which is game changing you're literally going to see winning products on this website so you want to come to this website again i'll leave it linked in the cheat sheet and you want to change it to united states and you can change it to the last seven days or the last 30 days in my opinion i only want to mess with these three options as they're the most important now the reason why we're doing united states is because that's where the most traffic is if you want to go viral now what we've done is you can see i've just left it as it is and if you scroll down it's saying that casual dresses are doing well right now perfumes doing really well right now t-shirts sunglasses body suits shampoo so a lot of the things that are coming up right now are based on the season we're currently in summer so a lot of these are summer based so we can see here necklace is doing well and that's a category of fashion accessories costumes and jewelry now this one really picked my attention because i know this one does well already so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click that little button where it says details now when you click that little button it's going to give you so much information about that category necklace and you can see here it's telling me the popularity. It's showing me the CTR. It's showing me the cost. The cost meaning how much our advertisers spending on this category. And you can see in the last seven days, they spent $100,000. So they must be making money. And it's showing you the impressions. How many impressions are they getting? And then it's also going to show you some related top videos to this topic. So it's literally showing you organic videos that are doing really well in this category and why is this important because if we find a product in one of these videos that look like a dropshipping product or we can find a product that is very similar as a dropshipping product then that's already game on for us then at the bottom it shows you the related hashtags and these are important to look at because when we see these hashtags these are some hashtags that we're going to want to use when we upload our viral videos later on now one of the most important parts of this page is the popularity now the popularity is shown by the red bar and the ctr is shown by the blue bar ctr meaning click-through rate now you don't really want to worry about ctr you want to worry about popularity now i'd highly recommend that you change this to the last 30 days for now now the reason why you want to change this to the last 30 days is because you want to look at this chart and you want to see if the chart's inclining or declining now this looks steady to me so it means that we can carry on with this trend because there's no sign of downtrend there's no sign of crazy uptrend it just seems like it's stability now if you look at a chart and it shows an incline like this for example and it's from down here that means that this trend is starting to blow 
blow up. So realistically, if I change this to, let's say, for example, July, so you can see I've changed this to June. Now, a perfect time to have jumped on this trend is when the chart was all the way down here because you could have ride that all the way back up to the top. So if you can see a chart where it looks like this, but at the beginning, that's a very, very good sign because it means the trend is just starting. Now, don't let this chart put you off too much, guys, because this is just micro information, but it's also a good thing to tell you if it's whether or not good jumping onto. Now, if we change the creative insights to audience insights, this is very important because now it's going to show me the age ranges that are getting most interacted with this information. So you can see between 18 and 24 year olds are the most important people, then 25 to 34. Then it shows me related interest. Now, this is interesting because we can use this information for when we're looking to basically use hashtags, not just use hashtags, but what else are they targeting that we could look for as a drop shipping product? High-end jewelry is what they're interested in. They're also interested in, for example, relationship information. So could we sell relationship jewelry? That could be a good idea. So use this as a extra information to pick the product. So the next website that I'd recommend that you look into is called Exploding Topics. Now this is completely free. They do have a pro version, but you only need the free version. And this is going to show you basically popular trends at the moment moment. And you can see I've sorted it by last five years product. You could change this to the last six months if you want to. And it's going to show you what's exploding at the moment. So for example, if we scroll down, they're saying that this glove shoe is popular right now. So footwear manufacturers that specialize in making accessories for those in the healthcare industry. So they're saying that this is a popular trend at the moment. Now you want to use this as raw information to help you make a decision on what, whether or not what you're doing is good at the moment. Now this website, again, is just to help you add to that narrative of if the trend you're choosing is a good one or a bad one. Now, something else that you want to take into consideration because it's completely free is ChatGBT. So you can create a free account with ChatGBT and you can see here what I've asked ChatGBT is the latest trends on TikTok. Now they're telling me based on 2021, so the data is old, but they're still giving me some very good information. So they're saying dance challenges, they're talking about lip syncing, DIY, challenging games, transitions and special effects. Now, this is everything that I want to take into consideration when picking my product. So we want to know if one of our products can fit into one of these things because all of these are still relevant right now. Now, what I've also asked ChatGBT is what are the best products to sell in summer? And it's going to give me information that's relevant today. And they're saying here, for example, summer clothing, outdoor outdoor decor, travel, fitness, gardening. Now, anything that I can find on here is also going to be good. Now, the more important thing is I'm going to see if any of these correlate with anything that I've just seen on the TikTok platform. So you can see here on the TikTok top selling products that one of them is jewelry and that lines up with what chat GBT is telling me here when it says summer wear and jewelry. So this is something that correlates with TikTok. So I'm finding information now that lines up together. That's going to give me a very good narrative. So what I've decided to do now is go back to AliExpress and I'm using AliExpress as a directory to find the information of the product. So you can see here, I've typed in summer rings and I've sorted it by best orders and best reviews, meaning that I'm only going to be seeing best quality products. And you can see here, I found a ring that's got 3000 orders 4.8 star reviews. Now, why is this important? Number one, it's already got 3,000 orders on AliExpress, meaning that it's already a winning product and good quality reviews, meaning that people are happy with the product. And I've also found something that matches the current trend. So jewelry, summer jewelry, and it's got that really nice relationship part because the boyfriend's going to wear the sun, the girlfriend's going to wear the moon. So it matches that trend that I'm looking to take advantage of. Now you want to get all the information about this product on AliExpress because I want to see if I can find this product on TikTok. So I know what it's called now. So I'm going to search for it on TikTok and I search for it on TikTok guys, and I've already found videos of it. There's one here with 16,000 views, 25,000 views, 8,000 views, 4.5 million views here of the product. So I'm finding that people have gone viral. Again, another video here. People have gone viral with this product and there's mass interest for this product. So I've also typed in the niche that I'm trying to target as an organic viral video and it's going to be called Summer Jewelry. And you can see there's lots of demand for this organically because you can see there's loads of videos going viral. So that basically means my product's got interest and the niche has got interest. So that means that there's people on TikTok that want to see this content. And more importantly, I've got trends that match my product. When will you break up trends? So for example, my product could fit into this 
Behind every hot girl, my product could fit into this. Stop recording when it's a lie. I don't know about this one. So I'm going to go through all of these ones and find out if my product could match any of these. I've already found quite a few that it's already matching. Now, remember that other website I showed you, I'm going to see if there's any on there as well. So could my product fit this trending transition? Yes, it could. Sick and twisted. This is a transition and it could match that transition. Now, the next one is the smooth operator trending sound. My product could easily fit into that. I could easily make a video and use that sound. So I'm seeing a lot of correlated information here that matches my product. So I have found a product already that I'm confident in going viral with. So this is my product of choice in this hypothetical example. So guys, that's exactly what I do to find viral products for TikTok. I use all of this information. I use all of these websites for completely free. Sometimes it can take me a few days to come with a solid idea, but you need to use this exact strategy. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. Just get on with it and start picking products. If the information is aligning with what I've told you, then that's a positive sign. You just need to crack on with it. Now we're going to be going over how to create and manage your TikTok account for success. Now, before we do this, you guys should have already ordered the product that you found that you think is going to go viral. So before you even get to this stage, guys, make sure you've ordered the product from Amazon. That way you can get it tomorrow or the same day or very quick. So step one, make sure you're using one device per account. So if you're making an account, only use one device for that account. Don't share it. Don't use any other device. Don't do multi-login. Don't use the same device, but open the account up in different browsers. Just use one app, one account. That's it. Make sure before you create this account, so before you even go to TikTok to create the account, guys, make sure you factory reset your phone. But before you factory reset your phone, please back up your phone. Just before you back up the phone, do not include TikTok as a backup. Miss that one out. Now, why are we factory resetting our phone? Because TikTok will use this information and it will affect how your account works. So the only way to do it is either you buy a brand new phone, which I don't recommend, or you factory reset. I know it can be a bit of a pain, but if you want to get the best results, you do have to factory reset. Now, before you even factory reset your phone and do this, make sure you have a USA SIM card ready to put into your phone once you've reset it. So what I'm trying to say is make sure you've got a SIM card in your house. That's a USA SIM card that you're once you factory reset the phone, when it starts the phone up, it'll ask you to put a SIM in. You put the USA SIM in. Now, where do you get a USA SIM? So you can get them from Amazon by just typing in USA SIM and you can see they're all here. You can buy loads of different SIM cards. Now, it doesn't matter which one you go for, guys, as long as it gives you an American phone number and small text. Literally, you could go for the one that that's $10, $20. There's loads of websites you can find for US SIM cards. Now, remember, you're only using this to get a USA phone number and to receive some text. That's all you're using it for, guys. So you don't need to go for the crazy expensive ones. So now let's say hypothetically, you've got your American SIM card, whether it took you one or three days to get it to your house, you can now factory reset your phone as long as you've backed it up. Now that you've factory resetted your phone, it's going to ask you to basically set it up as a brand new phone. You're then going to put your American SIM card into your phone and then set it up. And before you even download the TikTok account, make sure that the SIM card works. And then once you've done that, guys, you can download TikTok from the App Store or the Android Play Store and then set it up and create a brand new account. But make sure the account that you set up is a personal account, not a business account. Now, for those that want to take things to an extra level of protection and basically precaution of trying to get the best quality traffic, what you can also do is get a VPN. NordVPN is the only VPN that I use. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by anyone in this video. And I use NordVPN. So when I factory reset my phone, when I start the phone up, the first app I download is NordVPN. I connect it to an American IP address. And then that way, the phone from the get go is like it's from America. So when you you download any other apps to the phone, they're going to think you're in America. So you've got an American SIM card, you've got an American phone number, your IP address is in America. You, that way, TikTok should only give you an American audience. So then when you upload content to the actual account, you're only going to get the best quality traffic. Now, you need to make sure that if you're going to use the VPN strategy as well, you connect the VPN at all times. There are settings in NordVPN where you can have it where it always turns on and it never turns off. If you turn the VPN off, it can damage the actual quality of traffic. So do bear this in mind. Don't turn the VPN off. Don't let your phone die. Don't factory reset your phone again. Keep the VPN on. Now, for those that are going to be asking me in the comment section, how do I create my 
my Shopify store? How do I pick a brand name? How do I do all of this? I'm going to be leaving a video in the cheat sheet on how to create a Shopify store, how to create your theme using my free theme, how to pick a brand name, how to create a logo. I'll be doing that all in a separate video in the cheat sheet because I've already done it a million times. So make sure you watch it. Now, what we're going to be moving on to now in this free course is how to create viral content, how to script it, how to record it, then how to edit it. Now, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be getting my business partner, Nick, here to help me with this section to help teach you this to the best quality possible. Now, you've got two options, guys. If you want to create your account after you've got the content, then so be. If you want to create your account before you've got the content, so be. Now, in my personal opinion, I find it better that you create your account after you've got the content ready. So don't create the account, in my opinion, until you've got at least three to four weeks worth of content ready. So if you need to create one to three videos a day, times that by 30, till you've got that amount of videos made, do not create the TikTok account. It's up to you guys how you want to do it, but this is the way that I do it. I create my account after I've got the videos ready to upload. Now, the reason why we do this is because you'll get new account advantage when you create a new account, meaning that TikTok will give you 30 days to give you a boost. And if you basically waste those days, Days, then there's less possibility of you going viral. So guys, we're moving on to script writing for your TikTok organic video. So Nick is going to be covering how to script your videos for your TikTok organic. So you get a perfect script written. So when you do your videos, the voiceover is done correctly, your offer and your angle is being done correctly. So let me move on to Nick. Hi guys, so what we've decided to do is use a candle as an example product. The reason being is it fits all the criteria of a product that's really, really good to do on TikTok. And the reason I've picked this candle in particular, so obviously a big benefit to candles is that they smell really good, but also this has some ingredients in it that have some massive benefits around calming anxiety, helping sleep. And so what we'll do is we'll write a script for this and then we'll shoot, and then come up and edit. So how I got to the script was, so I took this candle and Whenever you're writing a script out that's got anything to do with persuading someone, you need to think about what is the desired outcome for someone. So what is the massive benefit someone's going to get? And to uncover that, you need to uncover what problems they're having. So for example, this candle solves the problem of not being able to sleep very well or calming anxiety or just that your house needs to feel more homely and smell really nice. So what I did initially was list out the problems that someone would face and then the solutions behind the candle. So if we look at the UGC script I've created here. So what I wanted to do was surface that big problem. So how I got my house smelling amazing and completely calm my nerves at the same time. So what I'm doing is tapping into two massive benefits that the candle provides that solves the problem for the user. So what I'm doing is I'm surfacing the problem and then I'm going to go into the benefits of what the candle does. So this candle in particular is called Good Vibes by Airy and not <laughs> and not only does it smell like I just stepped into a most refreshing relaxing spa but it contains essential oils as well. So what I've done here is I've tried to put a metamorphosis on the copy so it's more like not that just that it smells good you're, you're trying to sell something that smells which means you've got to really make it vivid for the customer. So what I've said, it smells just like I stepped into the most refreshing, relaxing spa so that people can connect that image with the desired outcome. And what I've done is I've put that it contains essential oils of cedar and rose, which has been clinically proven to calm anxiety, relieve stress and promote melatonin, which helps with sleep. So what I'm doing again is I'm surfacing these features that give benefits to the customer. And then finally, I round it off with look how gorgeous it is, because at the end of the day, you're buying a candle, which means that it's for your house, it's for your home decor, and it's about smelling good and looking good. And I've put, a, I've put also there smells of handcrafted in the US. So I wanted to put a, an angle of authenticity on it as well so that people can really, really connect to the brand. And I've said that it's really, really unique as well. So you're not going to get this smell in this candle anywhere else. And then at the end, I've put an offer. So right now they're offering two for one. So I wanted to put a compelling offer at the end just to round off to induce people to take an action and buy. So that's the UGC script. What we also wanted to do as an example was do an unboxing. That's very, very popular on TikTok. So what I've done here is I've looked on TikTok and I've seen loads of people opening their front door and it looks very, very organic where they're opening the door, there's a delivery and they pick it up. So that's what my hook or my opener was going to be. So here I've got, I've been very excited to try this new candle from Airy. I'm super excited to see if it lives up to its name. So I'm already giving it a sense of authority by having a name that it needs to live up to. And then I put, my friends are raving about how gorgeous it smells and how it calmed their anxiety. So I've done some social proof in there. My friends are raving about it. So loads of people love this. And then calming their anxiety, which is the big benefit as well of this candle. And then we're going to move on to the proof of the benefit. So let's light it up and see the moment of truth. And then what we're going to do, we'll breathe in, we exhale, we're super, super calm. So we're demonstrating 
the outcome that the candle is going to give you. Then we're going to round off. Oh my God, I instantly feel calm. This is the most gorgeous candle I've ever smelled and it looks great around my home. And then we'll probably finish off with a call to action as well to make sure that people understand there's an offer and that they can go and buy. So this is this second script. So we're going to do a UGC and we're going to do an unboxing. What we'll do is we'll film, film the content now. We'll do what's called A-roll where I'll speak in front of the camera directly. And then we're going to layer over loads of cool footage of the product itself. And then we're going to put that into CapCut and we're going to edit it. So guys, that was Nick explaining how to do scripts for your videos, for your TikTok organics. Now we've just given you a few examples. There's even more examples in this Google Doc. So when you get access to it, once we hit 2000 likes, when you scroll down, you'll see other versions of the script for different scenarios. Now you don't always have to write scripts, guys, but it's a good thing to do. That way you don't forget things. And that way you're making sure that your video fully purposes what you're trying to get across. So make sure guys, you do try and write some scripts for some of your offers because it is very, very important. And now me and Nick are going to go downstairs, record some UGC so you can watch it in live footage and see how it's done. And then we're going to show you how to edit it in the CapCut editor. Here we are ready to do UGC. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to film myself speaking in front of the camera with the script. So that's going to be what's called our A roll. We're going to have our baseline there and then we can auto caption that in CapCut. And then what I want to do is I want to start capturing supporting footage of the candle and the benefits that support the script. So for example, if I'm surfacing that the product has essential oils in it, I want to take a little shot of me pointing at the essential oils. Initially, as I speak in front of the camera, we do need good lighting so that I can speak in front of the camera and you can see my face. What I would suggest for both pieces of footage, speaking in front of the camera and for the product, try and use natural light if you can. But if you can't, these, I got some lights very, very cheap from Amazon. I got some from Facebook Marketplace, really, really cheap. So what you need is a stand, an omnidirectional stand. So that just means I can move the head around and a light, you can get a very cheap light. I've got an umbrella light that gives me loads of light my way. So that works really well. And these are super cheap, but these are staples for recording content. Cool, so I've downloaded a very, very simple teleprompter app. This is free from the App Store. I'm sure it's on iPhone as well, but I'm on Android. And all it is, is it overlays a piece of text so that I can speak into the camera without umming, without ring. When you're recording content for TikTok and even to use for Instagram, try and get yourself more towards the center of the camera on the phone, because then if you do have to crop it, then you're completely within the camera. So what I've done, I've set up here, the lighting's good. I'm in a good position here, so I'm ready to hit record. It's called the Good Vibes Candle by Airy. Not only does it smell like I just stepped into the most refreshing, relaxing spa, but it contains essential oils of earthy cedar, an exotic rose that is clinically proven to calm anxiety, relieve stress, and promote melatonin, which is great for sleep. And just look at how gorgeous this is. All of their smells are handcrafted in the US and they are so unique, I don't think I can go back to a stand and candles again. Right now, they're offering a two for one on all of their summer collection, so go get yours now. So I've got some, there's you, me using my natural voice, but what I'm doing here is I'm speaking from the camera and if I auto caption that in TikTok, that means that I can turn the volume down on my voice and create those kind of TikTok trending sound voices, like Jessie, I think her name is. So what I'm doing here, I'm talking in front of the camera, the majority of my footage is gonna be covering over me talking. So obviously we wanna showcase this product and not my pretty face. And then what we can do once we've auto captioned, we can make an auto generated voice, like a TikTok style voice that you can overlay over the top as well. It doesn't matter if you use all of this text or not, or all of this audio, or all of the footage, footage for that matter, it only matters that you get it down on paper that means that you can extract the text. It means you can cut it up exactly how you want. All of this is just to get the script down. My target market is mainly female, like 20 to 40 for, for candles like this. So obviously it's gonna be a little bit strange me talking to the camera, but this is mainly to give you an idea as to how this would work. So I've been excited to try this new candle from Airy, and I am super excited to see if it actually lives up to its name. My friends were raving about how gorgeous it smells and how it's calmed their anxiety. It has beautiful packaging with a satin color finish, gold trim and a cute message inside. Let's light it up and see. The moment of truth. Oh my God, I instantly feel calm. This is the most gorgeous candle I've ever smelled. And it looks great around my home. Now I've got my A roll, I need to get my B roll, which instant, incidentally is gonna be our main footage of the product. So what I wanna do is I wanna go through the script that I've just done and see what sort of supporting footage I can have. For example, if I do, this is how I got my house smelling amazing and completely calm my nerves at the same time, I want a shot of me walking to my home like, like that. So then if I'm going to 
introduce a product, it's called Good Vibes by Airy, then I'm going to showcase the product in all its glory. So maybe try and get a basic shot of it, zooming in, giving a nice little pan. And then it says, not only does it smell like I stepped into a more refreshing, relaxing spa, but it contains essential oils. So I want to be pointing out the essential oils that it contains as well. So all this footage I'm trying to do is there to support this script. Cool, so set and setting is really, really important. So I'm putting this candle in a setting full of other items so it doesn't look completely bare and it looks quite comfortable just sitting there with all the other things. So think about props. What is it that can go alongside this candle that supports it, that makes it look like it fits within its homely setting, especially because this is a home decor item. So firstly, I'm going to take a few shots straight on and a lot of camera footage that you take, um, I don't know if you've heard of rigs, but rigs can be set up to stabilize cameras and smartphones don't come with that out of the box. And obviously we're on a budget here. So what I suggest is you can stabilize your camera and do some really, really cool shots a number of ways. So for example, if I'm gonna do a pan shot, I'm gonna have my phone flat against there and then just pan it across like that. And then if I'm going to do a nice slow zoom here, I can just come in super, super slowly and we can get some really nice masterful shots by doing camera down as well. So if you can have your camera down below, you can get some really nice upward shots that really empower the product as well. So we're gonna go a little bit nuts and film some footage that's gonna support the script and paint the product in a good light. And you should be able to do this on your phone by holding down your finger, because because we're going to run across, we've got an auto focus. So what I wanna do is focus on that when it comes. So let's go video. The light looks pretty good here actually, it's quite good. Cool. So I'm going to hit record, and then I'm going to slowly draw that across. Lovely piece of footage. Cool. So that's going to be more of an introductory piece of footage. Probably going to use an auto zoom for that. So I'm going to hit that record there. Focus in by tapping. And we're going to come in slowly. And then we're going to come out slowly as well. So this is going to be another showcase around like that. Lovely and shiny. Nice visuals, nice camera shine there. And then I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be like, let's face the camera, let's go ginger, rhubarb. Let's get there. So I need to stand far enough back so we can do a slow zoom in on me breathing in. So in a lot of videography, you want to kind of start zooming in on the subject at hand or the characteristic you're trying to point out. And so what I'm doing, I'm standing far enough back that we can do a nice zoom in slowly onto my face. Then I'm like, like that, and we can maybe breathe out again. So I will go. Like that. I was a born actor. <laughs> Cut this up, mate. Nice. Oh, that's lovely. Cool. One more and then we're good. I'm gonna look like such a tool, mate. It's so funny. We're good? We can bang that in. Cool, so now that's our footage out of the way, we're gonna come into CapCut and we're gonna edit this footage and make it look like a great piece of content. So what we've got here is CapCut desktop I've used. Compared to the web version, the desktop version has way more functionality straight away. We are opting for the pro version because you've got a few more cool things like transitions and stuff, but you've got loads of cool features already for free within CapCut, so it's a great video editor to use. So let's dive in and I'll take you through the layout. So the layout of CapCut is fairly similar to a lot of video editors. So down the bottom here, you've got your timeline. So that's where your timeline footage is gonna be. So you can, what's called scrub through it. So you can go from start to finish and go through your footage and cut and edit and stuff. Then in the middle, you've got your player. So your player is where you see the main video so you can play it back to yourself. And then you've got the media section here where you import all of your footage. And then I'll take you through the top right-hand corner. When we click on a piece of footage, you, can ha you have loads of controls there that you can manipulate the piece of footage in terms of sound, animation, all that really lovely stuff. So what we're gonna to start to do, we're gonna import the footage first. 
So we go into there, go to our desktop. It's important to organize your videos, just a quick point, because if you move any of these videos later on, you may end up breaking the video. So what I tend to do, I organize my footage into video, audio, and assets, which is things like graphics and imagery. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag all of this stuff in here, and then what will happen is it will appear in this media box here. So what I can do is I can click on these, and then we can play the footage in the player, so I can see what the footage looks like before I drag it in. Cool, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag a piece onto the timeline. Remember I said about the difference between A-roll and B-roll, so what I want to do first is have my A-roll, which is my main script. So let's drag that on, let's see which one it is. Perfect, so let's drag that on. So this is the timeline. So the timeline, I'll show you quickly, is this is gonna be your visual, and audio sits just below it. Here you can lock your position in place or you can hide or show the audio. There are two key controls here. There's going to be A, which is selection, so I can move my clip around. And then you've got B, which equals blade, that I can cut my footage up. So this is how I'm gonna split all, my, all of my footage. Cool. So what you should see as well, if we go to our footage, if I drag another piece down, it automatically snaps, which is really, really handy. And you can control that on the right hand side here. But for now, we want our footage to snap. So what we'll do is we'll go through our main footage and what we'll do is cut that up. Okay, just for acoustic reasons, we have a second piece of audio that we've synced up, but yours shouldn't need that at all. So the audio should come alongside this video, but we've got the audio on the bottom and we've got the video at the top. So let's cut these quickly. So what we're gonna do is use B for the blade and we're gonna cut these Then use A again. And we can drag over these two clips, get rid of them and our footage should still be synced. Wonderful. So that's our A-roll, that's gonna be our main script. What we need to do now is put some really cool footage of the product over the top to showcase it. So let's make a start. We'll come back into our media bin. And first of all, I want to be showcasing the product. So let's have a quick look at some of these. What I think I want to do is I'm gonna do that slide footage across the table, which is this one. So let's grab this. So just when I introduce the product, we want to slide it across. So look, let's grab that. So coming up to the controls on the top right here. So whenever you click on an asset or a video or an audio, up the top here, you've got various controls. So all you need to do is instead of video, come into audio, and then you take that volume down. All of your B-roll should be silent. So we'll do that. Cool, so that's our first piece of B-roll. So as soon as I'm introducing it, I'm going, I'm panning across there. So steps into the most refreshing, relaxing spa. I wanna do a little bit more of the showcase. So let's have a look at how it contains the essential oils. So what I did, I created a piece of footage where I just ran my fingers across the ingredients to showcase the essential oils. So to zoom in on the timeline, by the way, if you hold Command on Mac or Control on PC, and then you scroll, you can zoom in or zoom out. Click B to cut it. And then we've got clinically proven to calm anxiety. So next, what we want to do is have me looking relaxed as I'm smelling the candle. So let's grab that over the top, take that audio down. Nice, okay. So what we'll do here is grab that. So melatonin, great for sleep. So I've got a piece of me getting onto the bed. So we'll cut that in as well. Cool, so we can cut this. We'll have this bit of footage here. So let's do that of me going to bed. So let's have a look. So do you see how I'm putting the footage that supports my script? So good for sleep, now I'm going to bed. So let's put this down here on the table. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it so that we don't spend too long on this clip. Then I'm gonna cut it again and rest my head down. And we'll snap that there, that. And we can pull in from the sides here, by the way, as well. Cool, so what we're gonna do is we're going to add the rest of the B-roll footage so that we don't take too much of the time out. And then what I'll do, I'll run through the video with you and I'll show you what footage I added in and why. Cool, so we've got all of our B-roll footage in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through the video and I'll show you my choice of footage and why. So let's have a quick look here. So I've done an initial showcase of the product, showcasing again. So calm my nerves at the same time. So I showed me breathing in and relaxing. So this is just a product showcase. I've done a slow pan across as I introduced the product and then a showcase just showing the camera. So here, I said it feels like I've smells like I've just stepped into the most refreshing, relaxing spa. So what I did, because I don't have a spa nearby, is I went onto a stock footage site, a free stock footage site. This one's called Pexels. And I typed in spa, and there were loads of different pieces of footage I could use. So I went in and typed in spa, and then I typed in vertical, because obviously we were editing for vertical, and then I downloaded this and then put it straight into CapCut. So here... Cool, and so now I've done essential oils, I'm saying what it contains, I'm running my finger across the ingredients. So all of this footage is there to support my narrative. Cool, so relieve stress, so I've got a piece of footage supporting that, and then induce mel melatonin to help with sleep, so that's me putting my candle down and going to bed. 
So this is me zooming in on the candle. We're going to do a transition together where I zoom in to the candle and back out to it being lit. So we'll do that in a sec. And a couple of quick little jump cuts like that just to speed up the process of me unboxing and placing the candle down on the table. Cool. So that's our B-roll footage in. So let's do a couple of things. So first of all, I want to really, really punch in on the intro. So I'm going to grab my first piece of footage. So up on the control panel here, like I said, we've got video, audio, speed. We're going to move over to animation. So I want to punch in on the animation. So let's have a quick look. A little slide, got a little fall in. Any one would be really good as long as it grabs a bit of attention. So if you can see here, when I start the video, got a lovely transition zooming in. These are all straight out of the box with CapCut, which is amazing. If you went into Premiere Pro and did this, it would take you a while or you'd have to buy a package. What you can do down on the bottom here, you, you can configure how many seconds you can do the transition for. We're gonna do it nice and nice and quick. Cool. Cool, so I want to zoom in on the subject and show me really relaxing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to come to here, just as I breathe out, and I'm gonna cut this clip. So we go to our B, cut that clip. Then what I can do in video, I can scale. So let me scale to my lovely face. And as I'm breathing out, I'm really focusing in on what I'm trying to do, which is relax. Very close, that one. I think I'm gonna dial it back a little bit. I like these two clips. I think we've just shot really well, so I don't think we have to do anything major to those. There's a really nice slow showcase and a showcase there. I, that's not really too much of an issue. Don't do much about that. Uh, cool. So this one here, so I've repeated some footage, which is not a problem. We're really driving home the point here. But what I will do is I'm going to use what's called keyframing to zoom over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in nice and slowly. So if you look at the control panel on the right hand side here, it says you can add keyframes to videos, try it out, funnily enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this keyframe and what that does is that creates a little snapshot of the footage as it is. And then if I move across this timeline here and increase this scale, we'll do a nice slow zoom in and then it'll automatically put another what's called keyframe in. And then we're going to do a lovely slow zoom in like this. So you can see me breathing. It almost ties in really nice with me breathing in. It just helps, these kind of things really help engage the user and capture attention. So cutting at the beginning where I suddenly zoomed in or a nice slow zoom in, it really engages and keeps the picture moving so that you stay engaged. Cool, so next we're gonna do a lovely, what's called speed ramp on this. So what I want to do is I want to speed up towards the end of this clip and then introduce this new clip here and then do a lovely clip of me zooming out and showcasing the candle with the lights off in all its glory. So let's first ramp this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this here and we go to the speed section of our control panel. And you have a flash out here. So what that does is it goes at normal speed and then zooms in very quickly or speeds up very quickly. So we're going to use that. And let's see the point that we want to zoom in quickly. Probably about where it is, I think. So we'll do that. Let's just see how quickly that goes. No, I think we need to zoom a bit sooner than that. So I'm just finding out where in the clip I can zoom into the transition. So you see it's going a lot faster towards the end. So now what we want to do is do the same to this clip. Come on, there we are. So where are we? We're about there. So let's grab this clip and we go to speed again. And this time we want to flash in. So it goes really, really fast and then slows down to normal. Let's see if that works. A mm, bit too fast, too late, I think. Let's do it a little bit earlier. Yeah, I think that's okay. I mean, we could refine that a little bit, but you get the gist of it. You're speeding up towards the end of this clip and then speeding up at the start of this clip so it looks like it flows from one to the next. I wouldn't mind extending that a little bit more. Cool. So that's our B-roll footage in, and those are a few transitions and elements we can put in to just make the whole b-roll footage a bit more dynamic next and what's really really cool in cap cut is that i can now auto caption this so if we go to the text up the top bar here and come into auto captions and click create perfect cool so we've got captions here which is mind-bending that we can do this sort of stuff nowadays that you can auto create captions this used to take such a long time for us to be able to write all of the type out but this has automatically come out with the captions and if we come up to the top right here, we can edit them 
So for example, if I want to do uh, another set of captions or a new line, I just hit enter and that's it. It splits the caption for me into two separate sentences. It's absolutely amazing. And the best is as well, you can edit this all together. So if we go into text here, you can format it in a variety of different ways. Let's go and grab it all. For example, I could black the text. And if we wanted to do something TikTok style, we could go down to background and click that and click this little bubble, white. And as you can see, we're already starting to get that TikTok style text. Little background, black text. For now, I think what we'll do is we will do that typical style text just with the black stroke around the outside. We can make it a bit bigger here. There are loads of controls here. I highly suggest you go through these yourself. We'll take a lot of time going through each one, but you can do font size, you can do bold, you can align your text, you can style it so, so easily. And this is the great thing about CapCut again. So I use Premiere Pro and to put a stroke around the text, it's just, it's a little fiddly. Whereas here, one click, I've got a stroke around the text and it's already pre-styled for me, which saves you tons of time. Cool. So we've got our text in place. And what you can do, you can edit these individually as well. So let's say, clinically proven to calm anxiety, relieve stress and promote melatonin. Where are we? Actually, essential oils of earthy cedar and exotic rose. So what I can do here, just make sure you uncheck this because if you do the edit, it will apply it to all the captions. So we'll take that off. So where it says earthy cedar, what we're going to do, we're going to control, copy that text. So we'll do earthy cedar. Then we're going to copy that again. And then we're going to do exotic rose. So what my plan is, is to do a bullet pointed list. We'll do, we'll drag that down a little bit. And another great thing about CapCut, if you go into stickers, there are loads of cool stickers that you can use. Again, like graphics used to cost money or used to have to make them yourself. This is super straightforward. So I can take this little tick and then we'll drag that onto the timeline here. That is way too big. So we're going to make it nice and small. I'm going to pop that by Earthy Cedar. Then we're going to create another one. We'll create that for the rose as well. So I'm lining this up in the timeline with when the text comes up. Cool. So let's grab that. And we'll drag that down. Nice. Okay. So you can start getting really dynamic with your text by adding some tiny graphics, separating your text out. This is a very TikTok style way of doing things. And it's really good for the user to be able to view something in a more compressed, succinct, bulleted way. So it's not just I'm trying to read all of these captions. Sometimes they just want to the point. It's really, really easy reading. And what we can do as well, there's some lovely sound effects. So there will be in, under audio on this, on this panel here, there are sound effects. So if I want to put a little pop there, I think that pop will do. Oh, we'll just one pop will do. Cool. So what I can do is I can come into there and drag it into my sounds. Let's see if we can line that up. Nice. That's one. We'll copy and paste that. Exotic rose. Just where that comes in. There we are. I want that to pop. Cool. So now you can add some dynamic sound to it as well. So that really captures the attention as well. So I think that is our text for the time being. What I'd like to do is create some transitions as well. And again, I know I keep banging on about this, but transitions and Camille will attest to it as well used to take ages in things like Premiere Pro or Final Cut. Whereas transitions here, we have just so many. There'll be basic wipes and wraps and there, there are pops, there are all sorts. So if we pick on one here, let's have a look. Dissolve, what's a really, really basic one we can use? Train, pull in. So pull in's like a zoom. So I could literally just take that and I could drag that in between these two clips. That's it, instant transition. Warm. that is ridiculous. And again, you can do very similar. You can look at the duration and change that up in the top right. And if you really want to, you can come into audio. You can do a little whoosh. Let's see if we've got a little whoosh there as well. <laughs> That's a bit too quick. Perfect. Let's grab that. Let's grab that down there. Now, this is going to be a bit loud, so we're going to tone down that volume a bit. I definitely can't hear that whoosh. Nice. Okay, let's grab that down a little bit more. Perfect. So now you've got a lovely whoosh as well. So again, this adds loads of dynamics to the TikTok to help grab attention and keep engagement. So lovely little whooshes like that with the transitions, lovely little pops when things appear. It's all within CapCut. And I'm pretty sure that these sounds are free. Nothing, none of them say pro on them. So this is, this is so amazing that all of this is in one piece of software. Cool. So I'm not going to complete all of these with transitions, but what I would say to you is think about these sound effects, think about these tr transitions and pepper them in a clever way throughout the entire piece so that you keep that attention. So we're not gonna go through absolutely all of these transitions, but here gives you a flavor and gives you an idea as to how to do this in CapCut. Next, if you really want to, you can, if, <laughs> if you don't like the sound of your own voice and you want to change it to a trending TikTok voice sound, what we can do here is we can take the volume off of my script. So let's 
get a little volume button there, take that off. And what I can do, I can grab all of this. And then in the top right, we've got a little text to speech. And what we'll go for, I mean, we can go for anybody, but Jesse seems to be the typical. So let's choose Jesse. Start reading. Let's have a go. This is how I got my house smelling amazing. That is ridiculous. It's so good. Okay, so the only thing with this is because Jesse speaks quite slow, as do some of the other TikTok voices, you may have to do a little bit of tweaking here and there because there will be some overlapping voicing voicing, but you're smart people. I'm sure you can you can do the overlapping text now you know how to. So <laughs> so good. So good. So I'd tweak that, but that's how you can get TikTok voices if, like I said, you want to buck a trend or you don't like the sound of your own voice. Um, a really good way of doing that. So finally, let's talk music. So what I do when I run adverts, I like to try and go no copyright, but we're doing organic, which means you can totally buck trends here. So what I would do when I'm running ads is come into music section and there's loads of music here or I get mine from online platforms that I subscribe to so I can take royalty free music, but you don't have to, especially in organic. So what I suggest is put this all together without the music, and then you can put it into TikTok and find your viral sounds, find your trending sounds, and then upload it and overlay that before you put that live. But obviously choose a nice piece of music because the atmosphere that it creates is epic and you can obviously buck trends with that. So I think that is everything on the TikTok side of things. So guys, Nick's just shown you how to edit your raw organic footage to go viral on TikTok with transitions, through B-roll. All of this is what helps you go viral on TikTok because it's addictive content. Now, a few things that I want to add to this is like Nick said, do not add your music here because as I showed you in the intro, you want to be using trending sounds as that's what will go viral. So you want to add those in the TikTok platform. So when you click upload content on TikTok, it will ask you to add sounds or music that's where you want to be doing it and they even have a trending section where you can pick trending music go for those now a few other things i wanted to mention is of course if you were to do this with so much organic content through yourself doing it unique that it's going to take you forever so all this footage that we've just shown you here in the editor you can repurpose it again meaning that you can take the same footage and make 20 different videos from it as long as you repurpose it correctly it might require a new script it might require you changing the order of the footage, but don't feel like you have to have unique content for every single video. You can repurpose the footage to save you time and to get lots of content. And don't forget to look at your competitors' videos on TikTok by searching for their name of the product. So whatever your product name is, search for it on TikTok and see what your competitors are doing. And then you can recreate what they're doing and add a twist to it. Now, what I find that works really, really well is take a video that's gone viral, but add a crazy thing to it. So it could be anything. Just do something crazy in the video and that tends to make it go even more viral. So for example, something that we used to do is we used to put a Spider-Man mask on when we made our videos and for some reason people loved it and that's what made it go viral. We also used to add really crazy sound effects of our video. So we used to add really crazy sound effects and people would laugh at them. So that's something else that we used to do. Yeah, just to add to that, we would do exactly the same thing. So we would have for our snowboard brand, I'd literally pick up my snowboard and throw it in the bin, something really shocking. Or if it's a glasses product that replaces another set of glasses, we'd chuck them on the floor, we'd stamp on them, like super shock value, especially in TikTok. It grabs loads of attention. Yeah, so as Nick just said there, anything where it's out of the ordinary or it's not normal for people to do is going to grab attention. And again, if you're throwing stuff in the bin, you can get it back out of the bin. No problem. No ego is attached. So really think to yourselves, what can I do that's crazy that somebody else hasn't done that will then go more viral. So just think about these things when you're doing your raw content and editing your footage. Something else to bear in mind, guys, our hooks and offers were very low-ended in terms of we weren't too aggressive with them. But when you guys are doing this, you want to be testing aggressive, less aggressive, different angles. You know, we just showed you basically an introduction video of TikTok in terms of organic. You're going to be doing unboxing ones. You're going to be doing challenge videos. You're going to be doing all these different types of videos. We're just showing you one scenario of this type of video topic. Another thing to mention is don't be shy with the footage that you record in raw format. So for example, Nick would literally get me to video him opening the door. You could get your wife to do it, your girlfriend to do it, your mom to do it, or you could just do it yourself through UGC, you holding 
holding the phone. And also remember that you can do anything you want. Go as wild as you want. Now, if you're not confident in getting in front of a camera, then don't do you in front of a camera. You can do what I do, put a mask on, or you can do it where you do not cover your face in the video. You're just showing your hands and the physical product or you can send it or give it to somebody else to do. But just be as creative as possible in terms of creating unique content. That's what will make you go viral. So if you're willing to take risks, you're willing to go out your comfort zone, you're more likely to go viral. So guys, now me and Nick have taught you how to get UGC content, create it yourself, edit it through CapCut. Now we need to be posting this content to our TikTok accounts and other social media platforms. So I'm gonna be going over now basically how to strategize, how to maximize posting content to your social media platforms, primarily TikTok, to go viral. So I'm gonna head back into the cheat sheet, as you guys can see, and we need to first off understand our minimum. So what are we looking towards targeting? So I'm gonna head back into the cheat sheet to cover the minimums needed so you guys can understand the targets that you need to look for to identify if you're seeing success, if you're on the right path. So the first thing is you need to understand how much work this is gonna take. You're looking at between two and five hours. Remember, what you're doing now is you're gonna be uploading content strategically to your platforms, and this can take a little bit of time because you have to do research on your competitors, and you need to be posting and making sure you're doing it correctly. Now, the more time you have, the better, but between two and five hours is perfect. Then you need to understand how much money you can receive per million views. Now, if your website is optimized, as I teach you in another video about how to create a website, then you should be looking at between $500 to $3,000 per million views. So per million views, that's what you should be expecting to see. Now, on our most recent TikTok account, we did a million views and we made $1,000. So it's roughly in that figure. Now, another thing is you need to hit around about 1,000 followers because when you hit 1,000 followers, you can start putting links in your bio. Now, you can either try and get this organically or if you feel like you're slow, you can pay for TikTok coins and you can boost a post. Now, I'd only recommend you do this if you don't see momentum within the first five days. So let's say within the first five days, you're not seeing no momentum, you're getting some views, but you're not getting any click-throughs. Then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you use some TikTok coins, which can cost you between 10 and $20. You're gonna boost a video and that's gonna get you followers. Do not pay for followers because that'll destroy your account only use TikTok coins to boost. And when you boost it, boost it for engagement. Now I will leave a link in the cheat sheet covering TikTok coins and how you can boost posts, but I'm not gonna cover it now because it's not needed. So now we've got the minimums out of the way, let's get into step one. So step one is you need three to five videos to post per day. You also need to make three weeks worth of content before making a TikTok account. So I covered this before in the previous section, but you're gonna be roughly promoting at least three to five videos a day on your account. Now you can do two, but I would never do just one always do between three and five. If you can only do two, that's fine, but you need to work this out. So if you've got three weeks worth of content, you need to times that by however much this is to work out how much. Now, if you wanna just do one week's worth of content or two weeks worth of content, that is completely fine, but just make sure you do not miss one week out. So if you make one week's worth of content, but then you forget to do the next week, that's just gonna damage your account. You're probably not gonna go viral. So you need to treat your first 30 days as everything because your account has new momentum. Make sure you take advantage of it. Now, step two, keep your captions to one line, for example, 50% off sale, ending soon, and then use these hashtags, golf, golf, TikTok, golf tips, all of these types of hashtags. Now, what you can do is you can look at your competitors, which I'll be showing you in a minute on how to figure out the hashtags. So you can see here, use four to eight hashtags related to your niche, use small, medium, and large hashtags. So you don't wanna just go for the ones with the most search volume, which is what most people do. You wanna go for the ones that have also got low search volume. That way you're not competing for very saturated hashtags. Now, the best way to do this is by going on the mobile app, searching for a hashtag and seeing the volume because I don't believe the desktop will show you, but the actual mobile version should show you this information. Now, remember I was showing you guys the creative top selling products insights on TikTok. If you come back here again and scroll down, I did mention before, you can see the related hashtags for the trending topic. So you could use some of these hashtags or you could go to where it says audience insights and use some of these hashtags as well. Now, in my opinion, another really good way is by going to your main competitors on TikTok. And the way to do this is to literally search for the name of your product 
or the category of your product. Now, I've shown you two examples today, a ring and a candle. Now I'm gonna stick to the candle to make most sense. So I searched for candles and I found this page. Now this page is somebody that's doing organic TikTok and they're doing it consistently, which is what we're looking for. And you can see they're doing decent. They're doing between 100,000 views, a million views, 10 million views. So I wanna go on their most productive video in terms of volume, in terms of views, click on the video and look at the hashtags. You can see here, these are the hashtags they're using. If I click more, it's gonna show me them all. So I could use these hashtags, but just redo them in terms of, instead of this being at the start, put this one at the start and then do it back to front or mix them around. Don't just copy and paste, always mix them around. That way you're not gonna get blocked on the algorithm. So now again, if I go back to the search bar typing candles, you're gonna see loads of people are posting candles. I could use the hashtags from this video because it's got 1.7 million views. So if I go on this video, you can see they're only using a small range of hashtags. If I go back and go to, let's say, this video that's got 23 million views, you can see these are the hashtags they're using. They're not actually related to the actual candle industry apart from one. The rest of them are gift ideas. So don't just think that the hashtags that you have to use are just about the product. What is the product also related to? Is it a gift product? Put a gift as the hashtag like this person did. If we look at this one as well, you can see as well, they're using primarily candle hashtags, but you can mix and match them. Don't just think about using candle as a hashtag or anything related to just candles. Think about gift season, Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever it may be. You don't know which one's going to do well. Now, another thing to take into consideration is look at your competitor's descriptions. Now, this is a different competitor that I found that does primarily only candle videos. And you can see they've got 5.1 million views here. I'm gonna look at their description. Here goes nothing. So that's literally their description. Like I said to you in the cheat sheet, keep it short and sweet. Make some of them a call to action like shop now. Make some of them non-call to action. So some of them are not gonna have any call to action. Some of them are going to have a call to action, guys. So step four, once you have all your content ready for three weeks, you can move to step five. You need to stick to a strict routine on posting times for your page based on three to five times. Step five, you need to stick to a strict routine of posting times for your page based on three to five times a day for three weeks. Now, for example, if we go back to this page, they're not gonna be uploading at the same time every day. Now, when you're testing on organic, you wanna be testing different times. Now, you want to be thinking in American time zones. So if you're in the UK and you're trying to get US traffic and the reason why you'd have USA traffic was because remember we're using the SIM card trick. So realistically, you should only be getting American or Canadian traffic. So if you're in the UK, you're gonna be in the English time zone. But if you're posting for America, you should be trying to think about either their time zone, which is gonna be EST or Pacific. Now I go off EST or Pacific, it's up to you which one you wanna do. You can try both, but think in terms of their minds. So when you're posting, every day. You want to be posting in the morning for their time, midday, afternoon, and evening. That's how I strategically do it for me when I try a new account. So I'm going to try the mornings, the middays, the afternoons, the evenings, and the late evenings. Those are my time periods that I'm going to be uploading. Now, I'd recommend that you try this over one week, and then after a week, whichever time zones tend to work the best, just niche down to those time zones and post more frequently within those time periods. So let's say, for example, between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. work really well, I'm going to post more around those time zones instead of more broader. Now, that doesn't mean post two videos at the same time. It just means have less time space between the posts. Step six, always listen and look at the feedback and comments on your videos. Look for comment trends. So if we go back to this page, I'm gonna to go to their most popular video. Now the most recent popular video I believe is this one here, which has got 5.1 million views. I'm going to go through all of these comments because I wanna see what they're saying about this video. So somebody's saying, are the cactus swans available? So I might wanna think about selling a cactus candle. Uh, sold out, my mama would love one of the cow prints. There we go, we might want a cow print candle. My jaw dropped, okay. How do I buy so people don't know how to buy? So that's something we could cover. Maybe in our video, make it very clear. How does TikTok shirt work? Love these, so beautiful, so cute. Love this, love, so they're loving this video. So we can take this into consideration for our videos. And again, we're pretending like this is our video. So we're gonna be taking this all into consideration. Now I've looked at another video and I found a very good comment and the woman here is saying, you've got to make it so when you burn the candle, it's the same print throughout because they're just layering it with this black wax. But in terms of the bottom of the wax, it's the, it's, it's the same color. So this woman's saying that is it would be better if you could sell one where the color's the same throughout. So we might wanna find a candle 
channel that can do that. So these types of comments are important to listen to because you want to make videos based on it. Now, a very popular trend on TikTok is where you reply to people's comments in a video. So let's say you find a comment that's got 150 likes like this one. You're going to reply to the comment in a new organic video. That works really, really well on TikTok. And you want to be trying to do this between one and three times a week to see how well it does. Step seven, when engaging with your comments on your videos, do it on a different account. The TikTok algorithm likes this. Now, it's really hard to work this one out right now, but I find that when you reply back to your comments, it can damage your account. It's up to you how you want to do it. I personally get like a fake account on a different device and comment back as a potential loyal customer or as a customer support rep and do it that way. But you can try doing it off the same account, but sometimes I find like it can damage the account quality and it can sometimes shadow ban my account. So step eight, your goal is to get around about a thousand followers within the first one to two weeks. So you can put the link in your bio. Now, like I said to you guys before, if you're not able to get there, then buy TikTok coins and boost the video that hasn't done well just for engagement and followers. And within, let's say, one to two days, you should hit a thousand followers. So guys, that's pretty much how you want to be posting content to your account in terms of the structure the layout, how to be doing it. Now, don't overcomplicate this. Some people are going to say, but what about this? But what about that? The more you post, the better. And the more you post, that's unique. Don't just rip off the same video. Don't upload the videos two times around because the video did really well one time, delete it, then re-upload it. Don't be doing none of that. Just upload new content to your account as much as possible. That's all it is, guys. It's as simple as I can basically tell you now. Just the more you upload unique content, based on comments and trends, the better you're going to do. So when you're posting in week three, if there's a new trend, post a UGC video based on the new trend. Don't just be posting the same old stuff. Look for new trends. So let's say in three weeks time, I'm going to go back onto TikTok shop and look for a new trend, or I'm going to look for a new trend on Google trends or something, or I'm going to look for a new TikTok sound trend. But you want to always be posting new videos based on new trends new feedback and everything else. And you want to stick to a very strict structure of posting between three to five times a day. And you want to make sure that you're finding the best times to upload your videos. There's no secret hidden potion that people want to hear. It's just about how frequent you are of uploading videos. The only hidden trick is to make sure you're using a US SIM card with a US number. You've created a brand new account on a reset device and you're potentially using a VPN. Then you'll go in to get that American traffic. But apart from that, it's purely based on the content you're uploading to the platform. So that brings me on to when to kill your TikTok organic product and move on to the next one. Metric one, no videos after one to two months with at least 100,000 views. Metric two, low engagement after one month, 4.1%. Metric three, low CTR to the website after one month below 1.3%. Now, metric three is something that you need to take into consideration, not as much as these two, because CTR is only going to be a thing once you have the website link in your bio, and you're going to go to your Shopify analytics, and it'll show you the CTR. Now, in terms of engagement rate, if you go back to TikTok, and you download a Chrome extension called VidIQ, so VidIQ is the Chrome extension, I'll leave it in the cheat sheet. Once you come here, it's going to tell you the average engagement rate for the page. This one's 4%, so this one is in line with this. So this is fine. So if this was my page or my product, I'd keep it because it meets this. It doesn't have to be 4.1 dead on, but as long as it's between 3.5 and 4, it's good. This is just a beautiful number to get if you can get it. Now, if you go onto each individual video, it's going to show you the engagement per video. So this one engagement wise was around about 9%. But I'm basing this metric on the whole page throughout. Now you could base it on one video if you really want to, but I base it on the page itself, which you can see right here. Now, let's say you're getting both of these metrics, but you're missing the third one. Keep the product for another month or another two weeks and see how it goes with the CTR. You should only be using this metric once you've had the link in your bio for one month. Now, let's say hypothetically that you're not able to achieve any of these, then the truth is you just need to find a new product with a new trend. And I know it's going to hurt hearing that because you put so much time and effort into it. And I know you're going to say, well, I'm going to have to put loads more time and effort into a new product. What if that one doesn't work? But that's just the reality of using a low budget with drop shipping using organic methods. There's more work required. Remember, with free methods or organic methods, you're leveraging your time. With pay methods, you're leveraging your money. Unfortunately, in this circumstance, you're just going to have to take it on the chin and move on. The quicker you learn to move on, the quicker you are to find a viral product. Now, I've been teaching a student of mine, TikTok Organic, and his name's Inder, and he's now just found a winning product organic, and now he's able to achieve around about one to $3,000 a week, which 
Again, he had around about three to four products that flopped on him prior to this one, and he put a lot of time and effort into it. So now he's found his winning TikTok organic product. But if he but if he gave up on the first or second product, he wouldn't have seen the success today. And the beautiful thing is that money he's making is primarily profit. So one to three thousand dollars a month or a week is pure profit in terms of eighty to seventy percent. So that's really really good. So let's talk about how to scale the strategy. So if you're seeing success, let's say you're seeing these two metrics. I would consider scaling to see if other platforms will work well for your product. So step one is create an Instagram page and post the content from TikTok to Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. Now, when you're using the strategy, you're going to use the same account strategy. You want to be using an American number for your Instagram account. You want to use a VPN. So then that way you're going to be targeting the American audience. So you want to create a brand new Instagram account. You want to create a brand new YouTube account and you want to post YouTube Shorts. Now, again, the only thing that you're changing when you're using a strategy is the thumbnail, the video title, and the description. Those are the three things that you must change. You can use the same video, but you must change these three things because if you don't, then it will get blacklisted on all social media platforms. Now, just to show you an example of this, guys, remember this TikTok page that I just showed you as an example for hashtags and descriptions and feedback. They've got an Instagram account. And if you look at their reels, you can see they're uploading reels. So these are just repurposed videos from their accounts. If you look at the videos on here, they're the same videos on here just a different thumbnail and a different description. And you can see some videos are getting momentum, 5,000 views, 12,000 views. Even if it doesn't do very well, even 14,000 views, if let's say 1% converts, then it's better than nothing. Even if you're able to generate an extra $500 to $1,000 just off Instagram repurposing, that's going to help guys. So don't forget to do this. And you can see here an example. So if you find your competitors' Instagrams, have a little spy on their reels and see what they're up to and see what you can do. Because again, the hashtag strategy is going to be different on Instagram. The description strategy is going to be different. So you do need to take that into consideration as well. I will leave a video link in the cheat sheet of me talking about Instagram reels because I've made a whole dedicated video about how to do Instagram reels successfully. So I'm not going to cover it now, but I will leave it in the cheat sheet. But it is just as simple as going to your competitor's Instagram and just seeing what they're doing. Now, if you've got enough time, it might be worth making unique content just for Instagram if you've got the time to do so. Now, I'm going to be showing you a YouTube shorts example. And you can see here, I'm on this page called The Candle Town and I've gone to their shorts and you can see all the shorts they're uploading of their candle business. And you can see some videos are getting 6,000 views, some are getting 1,000 views. And again, back to what I was saying about Instagram, even if you're able to achieve a little bit more extra revenue just off this, then it's worth it. Now, in terms of how to find, not many people on TikTok do YouTube as well, but if you want to find YouTube dedicated UGC video creators, type in the name of the niche. For example, I've typed in candles, then go to the filters, then go to under four minutes, and then it will show you if you scroll down the shorts. Now you want to scroll through all of these till you see some that are basically what you're trying to do. So this one here has got 43 million views, 3.7 million views. So you want to take some of these videos into consideration. Now, how I found that page is I went to shorts and I found it through here. So you can see here, I found their page because of this video here. They're making their own candles with 45,000 views. I clicked on it. Here it says the candle town. I clicked on their name and that's how I found their page. If you want to find pages that are doing shorts, that's the best way to do it. And again, YouTube have a different strategy for hashtags, descriptions, and etc. So do bear that in mind. Don't just take the TikTok strategy in terms of hashtags, descriptions on YouTube because it won't work. The video itself will be fine in terms of reusing it, but the hashtag description and title needs to be different, guys. And again, spy on some competitors spy on some people doing it and see how they're doing it so you can put it into your account in terms of YouTube. And the whole purpose with organic traffic, guys, is the more you investigate, the more you do feedback, the more you learn about your niche, the more likely you are to find success. I can't just randomly give it you on one video because it would take me hours and hours of research, days and days of research, months and months of research per niche, and you just have to do that with the time you've got. Now, step two, and this is for those that are doing really, really well with organic traffic. Let's say you're doing around about $10,000 a month in profit, even $5,000 a month in profit, you might want to start hiring freelancers to create more content for you. So let's say, for example, you're doing really, really well, but basically you want to scale as aggressively as possible. You might want to hire more people to create content for you because you're restricted based on how much time you've got. So you might want to hire five freelancers to go out there 
and create content for you that you can then post on your page. Or you might want to start working with other pages and get them to promote your products. So Instagram influencers, TikTok influencers, or you might want to get them just to create content for you to put on your page. You might want to create a second page. Now it's worth creating two pages because in that way you've got two accounts you can push. It's down to you, but I'm going to be leaving all the scaling methods in the cheat sheet. I'm not going to really go too crazy with them in this video because I want you guys to start seeing your first $1,000 in profit, $5,000 in profit, $10,000 in profit. And then once you've got that in the cheat sheet, all of the scaling strategies will be in there, guys. Now, I do want to make this very clear, guys. If you're very overwhelmed with what we've taught you in this free course in terms of how to see success with drop shipping on a low budget going viral, just rewind the video, watch it a few times, watch the sections a few times, watch all the other supported videos in the cheat sheet. It's so important. Get access to this cheat sheet as well and just really get stuck in with the business model in terms of organic viral content. So guys, that brings us to the end of this free course and how you can start a dropshipping business with around about $50 to $100 and go viral with TikTok organic and achieve between $10,000 and $100,000. I hope you've enjoyed this free course. I hope it's helped you with going viral on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you've appreciated all this value in this video, destroy that like button leave a comment. Don't forget to enter the giveaways. And if you've got any questions, don't forget to join our free discord. That'll be linked in the cheat sheet and in the description. And make sure you guys really do show your appreciation because it's took us a lot of time and effort to make this for you guys. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.